Welcome to Energetix TV. Today I'm talking to Ben Karen, consultant at ENC America. Welcome, Ben. Thank you, Yoko. So, last year in the US we've seen very low winter prices, which is quite remarkable since the fact that it was winter season. Um, could you tell me a little bit more about that? Sure. You're right that natural gas prices generally do increase in the winter because of increased demand for heating. Mm -hmm. Nothing illustrates that point better than the polar vortex last year when freezing temperatures created uh, spikes in the spot market that went up to $8 in MMBTU. Mm -hmm. This year, despite temperatures that were even colder than last year and a gas supply um, in storage that was 50% lower than the five-year historical average, uh, gas prices declined consistently. The main uh, driver of that was uh, increased uh, domestic U.S. Uh, natural gas production, while there was also some LNG that was imported to regions that have historically been constrained for pipeline capacity. All of this supply allowed uh, for the overall natural gas supply to outpace uh, winter heating demand. Okay. And could you elaborate a little bit more on the causes of these production increases? Sure. Um, the Marcellus and Utica shale formations have been extremely productive. Um, these formations are in Pennsylvania, Ohio, and West Virginia, primarily, and uh, improvements to uh, production and drill welling technology have allowed them to really increase um, their production levels. For example, in 2011, uh, the amount of production that came from these shale deposits was uh, 5 BCF a day. Currently, it's 16 BCF a day, which uh, makes up one-fifth, around one-fifth of the total U.S. Uh, natural gas production. Okay. Um, what do you think that, that could be some other results of these lower gas prices? Well, we've actually seen uh, a little bit of an impact of the lower gas prices already in uh in the natural gas rig count. Mm -hmm. The natural gas rig count has decreased uh, steadily since June of 2014, and uh, you know you would think that eventually, as the natural gas rig count decreases, that production will eventually slow down as well. When this production does slow down, or even begins to turn around, that um, that might actually create a rebound in the natural gas market. Um, the level the number of rigs that creates this decrease in production um, is a big question mark. And are there any other question marks? One other major question mark, I would say, is uh, the impact of LNG exports on the, the U.S. natural gas market. Um, in 2008, when natural gas prices were very high, um, many companies began to construct LNG import terminals to import uh, natural gas from abroad because it was cheap. Now, with the abundance of uh, domestic natural gas production, many of those uh, export terminals, uh, uh, import terminals, are being retrofitted to actually be export terminals. Mm -hmm. The first of those uh, projects is called the Sabine Pass Liquefaction Project, and it's set to come online in Q4 of this year. The impact that the ability to export some of the excess supply that has been depressing domestic natural gas prices um, is yet to be known and it could easily create a rebound in the market. Okay, so it will be interesting to see what the markets will do. Extremely interesting. Okay, well thank you for your time Ben. You're very welcome.